Hmm, what time is it? Let's take a look at the clock. Uh-oh, it isn't digital. Uh, but that's okay, I can show you how to read that clock. Our clocks have two hands. The short one is the hour hand. It tells you what hour it is by pointing to the large number. You see how the hand is between one and two? Well, that means the hour is one. Always use the smaller number when reading the hour hand. The longer hand tells you what minute it is. That is why it's called the minute hand. Each of those little ticks represents a minute. It would be tough to count each tick when you want to know the time, and so there's an easier way. Each of those large numbers is at five minute increments. The one is at five minutes. The two is at 10 minutes. Hey, that's skip counting or multiplication. Looking at this clock, we can see that the hour hand is between one and two, and we always use the smaller number, so that means it is one something. Now the minute hand is two tick marks after the big two. So if the big two means two fives, well that is 10, and two more tick marks is 12, so it's 112. Okay, imagine this. You wanna go out bike riding with your best friend, so you ask when he'll be done with his homework. And he likes to challenge you, so he answers with a quest. He shows you two clocks, digital and analog. He says he'll be done with the homework at the hour combining the time of the two clocks. Wow. Okay, we can solve the quest. Let's look at the first clock. Okay, it's digital, and so we can read that the time is written as 2.15. And the second clock is not digital. Well, that's okay. We just learned how to do this. The hour hand is between the three and the four, so the hour is three. And the minute hand is on the four. Well, five, 10, 15, 20, 20 minutes. This clock reads 320. And now we have to combine the two times. And this means we need to add them. 215 plus 320. Well, let's start by adding the minutes. 15 plus 20 is 35. Now let's add the hours. 2 plus 3 is 5. So the combined time is 535. All right, you solved the quest. At 535, you'll be able to ride your bike with your friend. Did you know you can think of time on a number line also? Check it out. Let's look at a period of two hours from one o'clock to three o'clock. Now each hour we know is 60 minutes. And if we split these sections in half, each section would become 30 minutes. Okay, let's split it up again. Half of 30 is 15. Now there are four sections between each hour and each section is 15 minutes. So let's use this to help us solve a problem. Okay, Mary started her homework at 1.30. After 15 minutes, she took a break. What time did Mary return to her homework? So let's mark on our number line that Mary started her homework at 1.30. We can use a circle like this. She stopped for a break after 15 minutes. We know that one section is 15 minutes. So if we move down to the next section, it's 1.45. So she returned to her homework at 1.45. Hey, that's cool. We can use a number line to solve another problem. It takes one hour and 30 minutes to go shopping. If Tom left the house at 11.15, at what time did he return? Well, let's create the number line. Let's have it start at 11. Next, we're gonna split each hour into four sections and label them with 15 minute intervals. Here we have 11.15. Okay, now let's move one hour, that's four sections, and that brings us to 12.15. Okay, now 30 minutes, that's two more sections. So Tom returned home at 12.45. You're doing great, let's try another problem. Jose started to eat lunch at 12.30. It took him 40 minutes to finish. At what time was he done with lunch? Let's solve this problem in a different way, with addition. Okay, there are 30 minutes until the next hour, one o'clock. 
40 is 30 and 10. So 30 minutes gets us to the next hour. Then add 10 more minutes, and that is 110. Great work. Let's do another one. Jesse finished reading his book at 4.30. If he was reading for an hour and 45 minutes, at what time did he start reading? Well, let's set up that number line to help us solve this. Okay, now we're going back in time, and so we need to move left on the number line, or we need to subtract time. We know that one hour is four sections, so let's go to the left, four sections, and that brings us to 3.30. Next, we need to go back by another 45 minutes. Okay, this section is 15 minutes, another is 30 minutes, and one more makes it 45 minutes, which lands us on 2.45. So, Jesse started reading at 2.45. He read for a long time. That must have been a great book. Okay, finally, let's take a look at Charles. Charles is starting to cook dinner. The recipe that he's using says to bake it for 45 minutes. If he puts it in the oven at 5.30, at what time will it be ready? All right, we can do this. Let's start by creating the number line. 45 is three 15 minute intervals, we know that. So if we start at 5.30 and move over three intervals, we arrive at 6.15. Dinner will be ready at 6.15. Mm, I wish it'd be ready sooner. I'm hungry after all this hard work. I don't know about you, but working with these time problems makes me feel like a time traveler. You did a great job using a number line to add and subtract time to solve these problems. And you can also now tell the time to the nearest minute when looking at a clock. It's time to end this lesson. But don't worry. More math will come in the next video lesson.